Alrighty, everyone. Um, this past week, as we have learned about how do we learn, and our three questions. Um, my questions were: What motivates my learning? How do I most effectively learn? And how can I have the same desire to learn um, education as I do the desire that I have to learn about the gospel? Um, I find myself eager to want to learn and to read the scriptures, but I don't feel the same way when it comes to doing my studies and learning more and progressing and not just doing the work, but actually learning and taking what I have studied and applying it into my life, just like the same way I do the gospel. Um, the question that I chose to focus on um, more deeper that I wanted to share with you guys was my second question about how do I most effectively learn? And this is a question that is different for every single person because we all learn differently and we are trying to figure out what works best for us. And so this past week, I've really tried to figure out how I most effectively learn. And it's not just how I read and how I am gathering information and, and trying to learn that way, but it's literally how do I sit down and how do I most effectively learn when I am doing my homework. And a few of those things, this comes from my partner discussion. We talked a lot about ways that we most effectively learn and what works best for us um, individually and some similarities that we had. And for me personally, what really helps me learn is when I plan out my day. And so I plan out, so I work full time actually. And so uh, my day doesn't consist of a whole lot of planning because I work till five and then I come home and I do homework for the evening. Um, but I have to plan out um, on the weekends and other things that are going on when I'm going to have time to do my homework. And I have to set aside specific times for my studying, specific times for my reading, and specific times for doing my homework. I have to set times, um, okay, I'm going to read this chapter, I'm going to spend an hour reading here, and then I'm going to spend another hour doing homework in this class. So it takes a lot of mental preparation for myself to plan on my day so I make sure that I'm learning so I don't have to feel stressed or feel rushed because I plan out my day and I've given myself time. And that's another thing is giving my time and giving my focus and my attention. And so that way I'm not stressed or I'm not freaking out about other things going on, but I've given myself that time and attention and focus to be able to do my homework. Another thing that's really huge for me is setting aside distractions. I cannot do homework when there is something going on on the TV, when there's a movie, or when music is blaring. Um, my husband likes he It doesn't bother him. He can watch a movie while he does homework, no big deal, but I can't. I have to be in silence. I have to be 100% focused on my work. So I have to set aside my phone and set aside all distractions so that I am 100% giving my attention so that I can actually learn so I'm not being distracted. And I use a calendar um, or a planner and so I have my days and my classes and what's due. So that way, once again, I am looking ahead and planning out and I am giving myself enough time to work on the things that I need to so that I'm actually learning and not just rushing through it and doing it just to do it. But that way I'm learning and actually applying. Um, and lastly, I pray before I study. It really helps me a lot so that the spirit is also teaching me and so that way I'm getting that having that desire to learn about the education as I do about spiritual things because I have the spirit and the spirit is teaching me and helping me have that desire.